Okay, this is John. He's our local saddle filler. And he is in two trees. But trees on Elwood and C. I Yeah, unfortunately, there's no industry standard. One person's semi quarter horse is another person's quarter horse. You know? Okay, so. Different, different yeah. saddles. Yeah. Like the front bars are stretched off. So this one is obviously ill-fitting. It's because got too much rock in it. Okay. It's gonna put all the pressure right here. It's gonna sit down on his weathers. Um, you can see all the flare, the fingers I can put under here. Okay. Under here. Um, this would be more for a flat back horse. Then we have a, this one here. Now it's sitting on top of his withers. But that, okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, you, you don't want his backbone to touch any of that. Just, um, you know, something like. Muscle in it. You know, right, right down through here, you should have that air gap. Okay. Um, Boy. So, if any of them fit, and none of them do, okay. this would be the closest one that we could, we could get to it. Um, if I pull it in towards me like this, you can get a better idea of what it should look like. Okay. You can only fit a little bit of your finger underneath the bars. It's got a nice twist that shapes the arch of his back. Okay. And if you but look yet... down from the top, it touches everywhere, but it's not digging in. Okay. Yeah, I see what you mean. There's actually some room there. Yeah. Okay. So, and but to let it go naturally, that's you can look through here, and you, you can see daylight all the way through. And that's a no-no. Correct. Okay. Yeah, and sitting on his withers. Okay. Now, when you put uh, the leather and sheepskin on there and everything, of course, it's going to rise everything up, mm -hmm. but you still have the same conditions. It's okay. Just, just tire off his back is all. Okay. But. You can also solve a lot of your problems with a good pad and a blanket. You know. Okay, and we do have a good pad and blanket. So how about we throw one of your saddles on here? Okay. The, uh, the wool and the leather on the bars makes it a little more difficult to check the fit, but just right off the top, you can see that it's not touching his withers. It clears his backbone. You can stick your hand under here and tell that it clears his backbone. Oh my gosh, yes! So that's good. And then if you kind of fill the skirts up and run your fingers along in there, it's getting good purchase all along the way, from oh what you can God. tell. And when you add your, you said you have good, consistent wet blankets. Um, yes. A good ride, no yeah. dry spots. You've been mm -hmm. riding this style for two years. Correct. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Never put a wide mark on it. Yeah, I, yeah. I'd say this is just fine. So, Because you don't have any, I mean, you ride for hours at a time, yes? Yes, I do. So, and oh. it's the lightest saddle shoe. Yeah, I don't think you have anything to worry about. I am so excited. John is telling me that my old saddle is a perfect fit for my horse. I am so excited. Now I can go back to my saddle that I absolutely love. Perfect, okay. I would like to see him brought up a little higher, you know, like another inch. Mm -hmm. Because you see how you have this, this right at here? Uh-huh. If your horse is a little more delicate or sensitive, it might be an issue for him, but it's okay. not, obviously, but. I would and you can do bit. that. Oh, no, no. Well, you can do it when you're building it. It ain't gonna happen now. Oh, gotcha, yeah. okay. Okay. Just something to keep in mind for future purchases. Okay, that's awesome. I am so thrilled. Listen to that, babe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we are now with Sarge. Excuse me, not Sarge. That's our dog's name. Yeah. El Toro. Again, as John's. Take his head up there, Tom. So this one seems to uh, fit pretty decent. But notice how the front of the bars are not, they don't really flare out much and it's kind of digging into us. Sure, so yeah. That'd be uncomfortable. Now it's going to get raised up with pads and all that, but it's still kind of, it concern me. Yeah. Now, that's much better. And what? Kind of bought, is this a quarter horse? Well, this is a, this is a Hadlock and Fox Tree, and it's considered their semi quarter horse. I think gotcha. It's six mm -hmm. and a quarter by eight, if I remember correctly. Okay. I'm gonna do that real quick when we get done here. Um, but like I said, one company's semi quarter horse is another company's quarter horse. So okay. You just kind of have to go by measurement instead of the name. Like I said, when I see quarter horse bars, usually this part here. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, well, you can have the same width and, and more flare, yeah. you know, that, that, that change, or you get more twist in it. So I'm then when that was there. touching right here, it's that is touching, that's okay. It's not as bad as that other one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the different companies have different bar styles. They have Wade bars, Arizona bars, mm -hmm. Northwest bars, now this. That looks really long. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> that doesn't fit at all. It's a teeter-totter. 
Hmm. Yeah, it's going to want to pull down in the front. Okay. And this has got what you call Arizona bars. It's got a slot on both sides. Okay. And that's for the stirrup leather to lay and move in. Oh my gosh. Okay. And, um, hmm. This one as well. Uh, this one just has a raw light too. Oh, yeah. It only has one groove because these break, tend to break a little easier. So we try to leave a little more material on there, I think. Okay, so now you want me to you yeah. gonna weigh him or did you already weigh him? No, I did not do that yet. Okay. And I'll throw that saddle up on there. I'll move him back in the middle of that. Yeah, he's quite the boy, isn't he? He's healthy. The royal round. Hey. What's up, buddy? Can I get a chance to fight? So this is saying 1097. How much? 1097. Okay, so he's lost weight, and the vet wanted him to lose some weight, so he has lost some. Good. Yeah, he was 1100 and something. Yeah, he was. He probably lost 80, 90 pounds. Yeah. About 14.1. Ooh, 14.1. I thought he was shorter than Elwood, but I wasn't sure. Nope. Okay, now we have Tom's saddle on Charo. Yeah, I'd say this one fits him nicely. Wow, you know, aren't we lucky? Withers, I like your night latch. Oh, we uh, both ride with them. Matter of fact, I need to put mine on that saddle now that I can use it again. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, I'd say it's nice. You can tell it, you know, seems to touch all the way through. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's harder to tell with all this leather and wool and whatnot on there. It doesn't touch the wither. You got an air gap down the middle. And if you're getting good, solid, wet blankets on him, We've, I've only used this saddle one time on him. I used my other, other saddle, not the one you, but another one, and it, he was fine with it. I, there was no dry spots or any rubbing or... Good deal. So if you want to learn more about saddle trees, there's a gentleman, he doesn't make trees anymore, but they mm -hmm. had a really informative website, and it's called rodnickel.com. That's R-O-D-I, R-O-D-N-I-K-K-E-L. Okay. And the guy is a master a tree maker, and he's got a wealth of information on there about okay. the saddle fit. And, and that's important. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He sees the dogs running in Ron's yard. <laughs> hmm. Wow, this is such good news. That means we don't have to dish out money for a saddle, plus, I get to ride my favorite one again. That's good. It is awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, you're welcome. This is Elwood because I took Char over to get fitted for a saddle. Now he's having a fit. He is so spoiled. You are so spoiled. We made their pens almost twice as big yesterday. What? Huh? Calm down. Calm down. Oh my gosh. Stop. He is so happy.